peace be unto you beloved in christ glory be to jesus in the highest for bringing us into the last day of the first month of the year today is the first january 2024 god has done so much for us and we need to rejoice in this mama let's thank the living god in some few minutes for this great miracle which he has done for us right from 1st january to 31st january we didn't pay anything to deserve this but his mercies let's thank the living god this morning for this great miracle which he has done for us oh god we are grateful lord we are grateful wonderful jesus for this great miracle oh god we didn't pay anything to deserve this but your mercies has kept us on every side we bless you wonderful redeemer right from day one oh god even to the last day of the month of january for thou causing our soul to run away and even to escape from the plot of the wicked one lord we give you glory for you causing our soul to escape all the snails of the sons of wickedness we give you glory for thou exalting our horns on every side we bless you for the victory lord we bless you for the good health we bless you for the deliverance at every point of our lives oh god mama brother sister i want us to thank the living god in advance for the new months which we are entering in that is the month of february that he himself by his mercies he is going to cause us to cross that month also to the end let's thank the living god in advance for that father lord we give you glory lord we are ever grateful oh god that by your mercies that you are going to cause us even to cross the month of february as well we say take all the glory lord take all the glory take all the glory oh god take all the glory oh god take all the glory wonderful holy redeemer take all the glory 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 oh god in the name of the lord jesus mama brother sister we are praying telling the living god that as today marks the last day of the first month of the year we are telling the living god that every single blessing left in this last day of the first month that the lord himself should make that blessings available for our life he should pour those blessings upon our lives mama pray this way brother pray this way sister pray this way oh god every blessing stuck in this last day oh god of the first month we said we come before you we humbly come before you may we experience those blessings may we experience those goodness may we experience that lord may we experience that oh god by your mercies by your mercies by your mercies oh god by your mercies oh god in the name of the lord jesus this morning i want to share with you a word from the book of hebrews chapter 11 the verse 16 the scripture says but now they desire a better country that is unheavenly wherefore god is not ashamed to be called their god for he had prepared for them a city glory hallelujah this scripture is making it clear to us what our fathers of faith abraham isaac moses david what our fathers of faith sought for as a result they kept on pressing on they kept on following the lord without becoming weary they kept on pressing on in the lord without getting tired mama brother sister this our fathers what they sought in the lord was something which is not perishable so their love for the living god didn't run dry their love for the living god didn't run cold their love for the living god on daily basis kept on igniting and kept on burning so much because that which became their focal point was the unperishable things. I want to admonish you, mama, brother, sister, that as we are about entering the month of February, that which should be your desire as a Christian is seek for the things which are not perishable. Because the moment the things which are not perishable becomes your focal point, you will keep on holding fast to the Lord. But the moment the perishable things become your focus, that i want to follow god because of marriage that i want to follow god because of my children that i want to follow god because i need peace in my marriage that i want to follow god because i want a traveling door to be open unto me i want to follow god because of this because of this the moment the perishable things becomes your focal point your following of god it will get you a time that it will run dry because the moment you experience those perishable things the necessity and that desire of going and following after the lord 
will run dry the moment that perishable thing is unleashed onto you but when the unperishable things becomes your focal point you will keep on pressing on the scripture says is it because they desire for a better city they kept on this man kept on pressing on they kept on pressing on david desired for something which was not perishable in the Lord, the book of Psalm 27, the verse 4. He says, One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all my days, to behold his beauty and to inquire of his presence. David sought the unperishable things in the Lord. As a result, he kept on following the Lord. He kept on pursuing after the Lord with every single breath left in him. I want to admonish all of us as sons and daughters of Zion that let's pursue after the things which are not perishable in the Lord so that our love in him will not run cold so that we can keep on pressing on to the end of ages in order to get a glorious place for our souls may the lord favor you throughout the day and beyond and may his protection abound upon you and cause your life to be upward and forward only stay blessed in the name of the lord jesus mama brother sister kindly share this broadcast to bless other people in the faith peace shalom